This quick start tutorial is for CPMT 1443 microcomputer architecture. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Notepad++ Portable with TCC compiler that's built in. We're going to compile and run a Hello World program, and then we're going to test the Hello World program. So let's get to it. I've already downloaded the program, so it's just a matter of finding the location of the computer. So for my computer, I'll go to this PC downloads and there's portable notepad plus plus what I want to do is I want to put this in a location that I can easily get to so I'm just gonna drag this over the onto the desktop then I'll close it now because I've downloaded a program off the internet I want to make sure that Windows 10 hasn't blocked the program so I'll right click on it go to properties and notice this file came from another computer and might be blocked to protect this computer. So I'll check the unblock box, apply, and then OK. Once that's done, I just double left click on Notepad and it should extract some place. It's going to ask right there on the desktop. Click the extract button and there it goes. It's already extracted. So you see a folder that appeared on the left hand side. I'll move this towards the middle so you can see it a little bit better. Within that folder, double left click, and we find the program that actually, it's a little stub, program stub that'll run Notepad++. And within there, we have a bin folder, it's like a binary folder, and here I have the other programs. So I'll go back up and double left click Portable Notepad++ within the folder and it'll launch Notepad++. So maximize this and here's my environment. Notice that in the left hand corner it's expected a C source file which means whatever files I use in this program should have a file extension of .c. While the installation let's find a Hello World program. So I'll go to the bottom and left click on my Firefox. Firefox opens up and for search, I'll type in hello world C code. So hello world C code. And maybe the second one here, hello world program, left click on that. And see hello world program. You can scroll down and there's a program. So I'm just gonna select this by left dragging down, right click, copy, copy the text, minimize, and in the Notepad++ window, right click, and then paste. So there we go. So my Hello World program has gone from the browser into my Notepad++. Now I need to give this program a name before I compile it. So I'll go to File, Save As, Someplace easy, maybe on the desktop, since I'm working the desktop already, I'll left click desktop and give it a name of hello w, as in hello world, and put a dot c extension on it because remember we're expecting a c source file. So the c source file has an extension of dot c. It's going to put this source file on the desktop. I'll save it. And now my program notices tab has hello.c, so it's been saved on the desktop and it's ready to be compiled. Now a couple of ways to compile it. You can compile by pressing F6 or going into the plugins um, plugins folder. And it should be let's see, execute and execute. So we're gonna be notepad plus plus execute F6. So I'll left click there. So a box is going to pop open. There's some code in there that kind of works with my tiny CC compiler. So debug version is fine. Click OK. It'll compile it. Now notice this console box opened up showing me that it's hello.c, the current directory, and it compiled the program and saved it as z underscore hello w dot exe. So I can find it in the same folder where my source code 
is at. Incidentally, an exit code of zero is a good thing. An exit code of anything else other than zero means there's probably a problem, and if there are problems, it'll indicate down here in the console box. So I can minimize Notepad++, and you'll notice left hand side I have hello.c which is the C source code and I have the hello program that was created. Now to see if this hello program works I can double left click on it and it runs and it closes. Well it's a console application which means I need to open up a command prompt and be where the hello.exe program is and then run it from there. Uh, I, I give a little quick help here if you go into notepad plus plus folder within the bin folder and within tcc i have a little program helper program called cli underscore here if you right click and copy that onto the desktop it'll open up a command prompt whatever folder it's at so double left click here and there we go i have a command prompt opened up on the desktop i type in Z tab and it's the Z underscore hello dot exe. Press enter and the program runs. Now remember when I double left clicked on it, it flashed because it's going to print text to the console, but then it closes. If I want to watch the output, get to a command prompt and then type in the program's name. Another way of getting to the command prompt, if you don't have the CLI here program is have Cortana help you go to search and type in command prompt and there's command prompt left click and we need to be on the desktop so you have to type in CD desktop and we're on the desktop do a directory listing and look there's um, z hello.exe z hello.exe enter and there's your hello world. So those are two quick ways of getting the command prompt to open up. And we've installed the portable application for your compiler, ran a hello world program, hello world program in there, compiled it, and we executed it. Hope this was helpful for you, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.